Hi there, it's Lou here, and today is the last day of the Palm Beach International Boat Show. There's something I've been meaning to do since we've started the show, but it has been a busy one. I've been wanting to come on board the Swan Shadow and show you one of these amazing boats. Now this is a line of boats that we represent here at 26 North. Um, we do have a pre-owned one available immediately. We've got other versions available throughout the year. But I thought I'd start on this one. This is the latest and greatest that was just delivered to a client here in Florida and give you a bit of a walkthrough of this very, very cool boat. To begin with, we've got the history of Norta Swan. They've built incredible sailing yachts for years and years and years. I've been lucky to sail on a couple over the history of my life as crew and they're really remarkable boats, renowned for their build quality and sailing performance. They've taken all of those aspects and brought them now into the shadow boat, the Swan Shadow, which is a power version, and it could be considered a tender to a large sailing yacht, also a, a motor yacht tender, or a standalone open day boat. So let's start by having a look here at the rear of the boat. As you can see, we have the swim platform on the back, and in this situation, the swim platform is raised up in the up position. Now for me, this just made it really easy to step from the dock onto the boat, but in its reverse position, it will go back down into the water and give you a fantastic submerged swim platform. So that's great for really enjoying the in and out of the water activities on a day out, a day out on the boat. It also wraps around the three Mercury engines. Now these are 300 horsepowers. You can go up to 350s on this boat. Um, and, but they're nicely integrated, I think, with this whole surrounding swim platform. And I think it's really elegantly done. So come and join me for the rest of the walkthrough tour of the Swan Shadow. Here in the aft deck of the Swan Shadow is really where the magic happens on this boat because they're an incredibly flexible boat. They come with a standard configuration of the helm seats and the helm. We've got the hard top here that you can see, which has this fantastic integrated down lighting and an opening sunroof, and of course a rear sunshade. However, everything else through here is modular. So you can arrange it as you like. In this situation, you can see we've got a nice dinette area here, um, facing forward and aft, table that folds up, and of course the rear sun lounge. But this can be changed around to suit your needs and not only at the build stage, it can be changed around to suit your needs once you own the boat. We've got another example here, which is a pre-owned model. And that one has a galley unit built in here. And then of course, other seating arrangements. So I love that flexibility of these boats. And of course, if they are used as a tender to a large racing sailing yacht, you can always clear out the seats and make use for lots of sail bags. So they become an immensely useful boat. As I said, on this one, we've got the aft-facing sun lounge, and on the rear there, you'll see there is a sports pole for water skiing or wakeboarding. There are the rails across the back, they're stainless steel rails, and a really neatly integrated deck shower there that just plugs into the deck. I think that's a very cool feature also for washing off when you come back on board. So now let's move forward through the boat. Here at the helm of the Swan Shadow, you'd have everything you'd expect from a triple mercury setup. We've got twin Simrad screens. You've obviously got your joystick control here that you can have the optional sky hook with. A holder there for the VHF radio and some nice switching here. I love the button switching still because these are very easy to operate when the boat is underway. Both of the helm seats here flip up or down so you can have them in a bolster position for standing or a seating position. And on either side of this helm seat, we've got a refrigerator as well. So you've got a bit of space there for the day's drinks. Let's head on down into the cabin. As you'd expect, the cabin on a 43 foot day boat, open boat like this, is not huge. But I think they've made a really good use of space down here. As you can see, we've got a double bed here behind me and this very cleverly slides out a little bit. So it extends the bed out beyond that overhang up forward. So you can use the full length of the bed without having any interference from overhead units. There's some storage units over here and in the sides of the boats, the sides of the boat, there's also some reading lamps. There is a skylight here. 
and over here they've got a very clever unit and I'm going to try and show you this it's going to be tricky to capture this on camera with our available space but let's start by looking at this slide out panel here this panel helps to enclose a toilet and shower unit so let me turn the camera around and see if I can show you a little bit more this is going to be tricky to show it very, very clearly, but I think we've got some very cool design going on over here in the head area. So as you can see, we've got a nicely closed in area here. There is still access to your hand basin there. There's some storage above and below, but let me show you where the magic happens. Naturally, of course, if you're coming down here during the day and you wanted to just use the bathroom, you could close the, the cabin door. You'd come on in here and with this door, Pull it out like so, giving you access to the toilet. Now, if you want a little bit more privacy than that, let's say you've got somebody asleep on the bed and you'd like a little bit more privacy or you want to have a shower, what we do is this. Step on in, bring this door like so and slide this panel across like that and you achieve a closed in shower and head unit. How cool is that? Now let's wander up onto the bow of the boat and you'll see it's got nice wide walk around decks. So access is really fantastic. And up here, it's all about lounging. The forward area there, the centerpiece will lift out and create a table. So you can have another little seating area there with a the table. There's a storage locker in underneath. And as we spin around, of course, you've got the forward facing lounge. And up to that very cool looking windshield there with a single windshield wiper. And the styling of this, I think, is super sharp. I think that looks very, very cool. Now, speaking about styling, let's talk about a couple of little cool touches here on this boat. As you'll notice, the large teak bulwark there how cool is that? It wraps all the way around the boat and just looks gorgeous. And it really makes this boat stand out from a distance. We've also got these really nice saddlebags down here on the sides. I think they're super cool. And as I mentioned before, the deck shower. It's a plug-in carbon fiber pole. And there's your shower. So you can have a hands-free shower when you come in from swimming. Let's wrap this up with a discussion about one of my favorite topics on boats, and that is storage. Is there enough? Where is it? How easy is it to get to? I find this is a really underrated area of boats, underestimated perhaps. It, it's something that I've found as crew over the years and as a captain that there's just never enough good accessible storage. This particular boat has it in droves and I love that. We've got two big panels here on the floor, either side through the deck, two big blockers there. Underneath these seats that I'm sitting in here and it depends on your modular arrangement here, you've got storage in under these seats also. Behind the sun lounge is a massive locker there as well. So that's got some great storage and that actually has access into a mechanical space underneath that. So again, your storage is doubled up. You can put extra oils and things down there and keep you know, tools and spare parts away from water toys even. So I think this boat provides a lot in a day boat platform. It, it's very cool, there's no denying that. I mean, these are gorgeous looking boats on the water and I'll drop some video footage over the top of this to show you this underway. I think it's a great option, whether it be as a yacht tender for a power yacht or one of the swan sailing yachts or another sailing yacht. But also as a standalone day boat, they've got some great options with the seating arrangements here. So thanks for joining me on this early morning walkthrough of the Swan Shadow. I think these boats are super cool. It's this sort of boat that really makes my heart sing. They're a fabulous day boat, lots of great deck space to relax on and enjoy. There's some really good amenities on this boat, loads of storage. They're a great performing boat with top speeds in the 50s. And these are available as a new line through 26 North Yachts. So I'll post my contacts below in the details. 
reach out any time to talk about the Swan Shadow line. We've got some other exciting product coming from Swan as well, including the Swan Overshadow, which will have a forward cabin, a larger cabin area, and also the 75 foot Swan. It's going to be spectacular and that will be launched later on this year. So reach out any time about the Swan line or any other boating needs. I'm that Yacht Girl and I'll be back with you soon.